Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Amnesia, a machine for pigs. This is part number 12. My name is Zexor. Thank you for joining me. You'll see I paused the game because in the last part, I had traveled um, from up by the altar in the church. Uh, I'd gotten a candle, a piece of a candle stick, candelabra, whatever, uh, sconce, I guess a wall sconce. Anyway, took that over to near the uh, the altar and used it to turn both sconces, which then enabled a side room, uh, flames in the side room, to they ignited using that. And then I pulled a lever, which opened up um, a huge platform that the altar was on, opened up, pulled to the side, and there's stairs descending. So I went back down, uh, or I went down the stairs, there were uh, some cages and things up above here, and now we're here, uh, a little bit lower, uh, down the stairs from there, and there is a pig monster, um... Like just right around the corner where my mouse pointer's kind of going, and uh, and uh, I hid from him successfully last time. So now we're going to continue and see if I can get past him without dying. So here we go. Is I can't really hear him, or I can't really see him, so I can't tell exactly where he's walking. I think I'll pass him, would be nice. But it doesn't feel like I can. Crapping. I'll come back over here and hide again. So how do I, I, maybe I just, I probably just didn't go down far enough, that's probably what the problem was. <sighs> probably going to wait for him to come back over again, I have to go closer to the candle, and then run past I guess. See actual so that pig thing is patrolling, I don't think he wants you to go by. I don't think he wants me to go by either actually, I think you are completely right. Is there if I can put further down really look like there any notes or anything I want. So, I don't know where I want to go though. Uh, is he coming this way? Oh, I don't want him this way. Oh, oh, here, here, exit, exit. Whew. I hope I didn't miss a note, <laughs> but I'm not sticking around. He's patrolling so close. Okay. And so to the stoking, pulling cock wheels now, sneezed into his handkerchief, or into his kerchief, when the dust got into his eyes. I have begun to change more rapidly now, he surmised. Alrighty. And so to the stoking, and stoking, of course, is when you poke a fire and get it to kind of flare up by prodding it. So in a kerchief, it's just a, it's just a cloth, square cloth. Handkerchief specifically for, you know, in your hand and sneezing, but it's just generally a cloth. So, go back, just kidding. I don't wanna. I think I came to a bad area, somewhere I don't wanna be, probably. That's great, that's great. Zexor, what? You're gonna die in this like you do in Dead Island Riptide. Ah, I hope not. Last time you did not do much dying in Dead Island. I was disappointed. You were disappointed? Hey, I was hoping you were gonna bait it big time, as you Americans say. What are, 
Are you even Scottish anymore? You sound like a different accent. I've got a cold. Leave me alone. It's different than normal because I, I'm, I've got a cold, okay? Uh, okay, dude, whatever. Push this, I guess. Uh. <laughs> it's getting worse and worse. It is getting worse and worse, my friend. Okay. Going forward, keep going forward. Yeah, I uh, it's actually really late at night right now. I'm really freaking tired, but I didn't want to after leaving you guys last time where I did. I didn't want to make the suspense last too long and have you guys be like all, you know, like <laughs> disappointed. So, so I'm doing this tonight even though I'm tired, but. Another door. Back outside again? What the deeble? What the... Uh Okay, should I try these? Uh, I can always turn those. Should I try these doors? Let's see what else right here. Love this music. The music is awesome, dude. So good. Can't go in there. Okay. What about the second door? Now turn this, right? Come on, turn! Turn, 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 turn! I think I have to put something down there, like fuel maybe again or something similar. Oh, but it looks like the canister is empty. So I guess I won't be filling that, at least anytime soon. Okay, well, guess out this way then. <laughs> I know. Uh, Ivan Dado was like, why? Why did you end the episode? I'm like, because it was time. I wanted to keep going, but it was time. I'm trying to really hard to keep it 20 minutes. Uh, Dead Island is still doing 30 minute ones, but I think I'm going to try, except for big series like, you know, like epic grand scale things like Gothic 2 and stuff. I'm going to try, and The Witcher, I'm going to try to keep them to, to like 20 minute segments if I can. It reminds me too, I need to I need to finish up with The Witcher. I've been delayed way too long. I keep forgetting I keep forgetting about it because I, rec I recorded it and I've got it, but I've got it like in its own folder on my hard drive and I keep forgetting to go back there and edit it. So I totally need to do that. What Who's pushing the barrels at me? Freaking jerks. <laughs> the XOR, those barrels scared you, you wuss. You're such a pussy. Water in his shoes. Always the water and the sparks of the embers of the wheels. It's too bony. It's too damn bony. Bony? Okay. It's too bony. It sounds like, like based on that pig thing that I saw buried in the graveyard out in front of the church or wherever near the church, to me it's sounding basically like, um, sorry, finish my thought before I get into the journal. 
uh, to me it's sounding like when he says like it's too bony and stuff so it really is like Frankenstein's monster kind of thing and he's like sewing pieces together of those creatures or whatever and they're just uh, it's this one didn't wasn't working out or whatever I don't know for sure right but the Mandus Processing Company the Mandus Processing Company my soul shudders at what I have seen but at last I have reached the main part of the factory now onwards downwards to find those flood waters and drain them away like Moses, I will cleave the waters and let, lift my little darlings clear of its vile cradle. All right. Yeah, it's the... It definitely looks like that's the main like entrance, like office or whatever, front office to the factory for sure all right seeing this way and then up here can't even get up there so that's fine all right It's hard to tell like what what all I should and shouldn't explore, right? Because there's just so much in this area. Pretty wide. Uh, can't get up in there, but you can see pretty much there's nothing. As far as I could tell. Uh, let's go back down this way where those bolt barrels had rolled. As exciting a con uh, prospect as that is. Mandus Company Meat Processing Factory. Anno 1828. 1828? And we're in 1899 now, so this has been around for a while. Uh, will that be 70 years? 71 years, to be precise. This is another vehicle, but I don't see any gas can this time, so I'm not sure what, if anything, I should be doing with them. Maybe just, maybe they're just there as, you know, like, I call it window dressing, right, but basically just like as, you know, props or whatever for the scenery. So it looks more like what it's supposed to be, which is a processing company. It's weird that those just like roll on their own. Just like trying to give you a jump scare, I guess. Nothing really to see with the light either. Yeah, so you gonna go find some more piggies? Well piggies don't seem too friendly. No, they're not friendly. <laughs> Trying to kill me, I think. Probably. Why the why the piggy so angry though? Didn't you make them? You say you made them from a graveyard. Well, I don't know for sure, but they could be angry still. I mean, if you think about it, ultimately Frankenstein's monster got, you know, just full of rage and started attacking people. And I'm pretty sure Frankenstein didn't create the create his monster specifically with that intent, right? So. This processing company, yep. Alright, see, it even worse from here. I'm be doing some running, I'm sure. So far, hiding and sneaking has worked, but I don't, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to keep it that way. Alright. These men, Professor, these so-called men of vision, they would shackle the masses to a wheel and turn it till their backs break. All for that opiate, the lure of profit. These fools who lackey them, these priests, these officials, this government. 
They make pigs of us all. But what solution, my dear man? How to break a cycle? You cannot simply remove the promise of a better world for these unfortunates. In the workhouses, in the orphanages, the belief in heaven is surely the only sucker one can find. We do not need to wait. We can bring forth paradise now. We can speed the passion. With only a small sacrifice, we can hold the apocalypse. With just a small sacrifice, we can free our shackles and deliver them to paradise now. Sounds like a plan. You deliver them to paradise so they can come attack me later and kill me, you friggin' jerks? Man, it's like... I am God. And the pigs are like, you are food. And Mantis is like, wait, no, but God's not food. No, wait, what? I still am not sure. I'm somewhat suspicious that it's not his actual boys, Edwin and Enoch, he's going to find that the children that have been calling him are some kind of pig things or something, but I don't know. You're not sure, right? Make sure I'm not missing anything down that way. This is pretty cool. Factory setting. Uh oh. Pretty sure I saw a pig something moving. Forward again, it looks like there's really don't have a choice. Not like Ling's really gonna help at that point, right? I really wasn't hiding. It's worth anything there in the middle under the light there. went that other way. I wonder if there's a an opening to go that way? Like a door or a walkway or another path or something? Okay. Alright. No, it doesn't look like there's really anything to go. So either he was further on or he like was an illusion or a, a hallucination. Or he ran this way? Hard to say. Heck, I don't know what the pigs do. Maybe they could jump off there for all I know. Okay. My timer gets started. Hang on, one sec. Make sure. Yeah, okay. So. Are you sure? I'm not going too long on these. It hurts. On the plus side, at least it's not my lantern flickering. It was in the other area. Not that that's going to save me. Grief. But... and whatever over here, huh? All right. I can go up or I can go down. 
I assume I'm going to need to go up at some point, so let's try that if I can. rumbling of course from the machine okay well that's our time for this part thanks everybody for watching <laughs> this has been let's play amnesia a machine for pigs part number 12 my name is zexor please don't forget if you've enjoyed this to like it comment favorite subscribe and uh, let me know anything you have to say about this and i will see you in the next part where uh we'll explore the office area up here and whatever else there might be up here and then we'll go down one level where we just came from and down the other flight of stairs and see what's down below, which I'm assuming is going to be where the really bad stuff is. So thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next part till next time. Peace.